Paintings, points, and transparent cards. That's the new hotness here at Games Unlimited. Hey everyone, I'm Kylie, I'm here at Games Unlimited, and I wanna to talk to you about what may be the next great gateway game. A beautiful, you might literally call it, work of art game called Canvas. I have been looking forward to this one for a long time and it does not disappoint. One of the things you notice, they've intentionally made the box with nothing, you know, no names or anything on it. The name is actually on the shrink wrap, so it's removed after you take the game out of shrink wrap and you can actually hang the game on your wall so that you have this piece of art to look at. The game itself is all about creating art. So you have transparent cards. So these cards have different artistic images in them and they're arranged in a way that you're going to layer them over each other. You're gonna choose three cards, layer them, and then put them on a canvas backdrop to create a unique work of art. And there are some awesome combinations, some gorgeous things that you can come up in this game. And the other thing is, uh, each of the transparent pieces has part of a name, an adjective and a noun, so when you combine them, it's actually gonna name your art for you. So you might come up with something like, uh, what is this here? This is a delicious adventure. I've had a melancholy afternoon. I've had so many great titles, so many great images in this game. Now. Obviously it's beautiful. At the end of the game, you're gonna have these works of art to look at and talk about with your friends. But the gameplay is super simple. You can learn it in a snap. What you're trying to do is, you're looking at the bottom of the card. So for gameplay purposes, this bottom part is all that matters. The image is just icing on the cake. And you're going to want certain symbols. Depending on the game, there are various scoring conditions you can play with. You can randomize them. The game also comes with recommended setups. So maybe uh, you want all five colors represented in your painting, and, you, and you'll get a little ribbon for that. Or you might want to have more hue symbols than there are uh, triangle. The triangle represents the shape. So the four elements are hue, shape, texture, and tone. And so different combinations might score you points depending on what the scoring requirements are in the game. What's interesting is, I mentioned, so if we just take having one of each color, you'll get a ribbon for that. And it will say, if at the end of the game you have one ribbon, you might get one point. If you have two ribbons of that color, it might be worth three. Three ribbons might be worth nine. So it just depends on the thing. But of course, you can only get one ribbon per painting uh, with this particular uh, condition. So if you want to get the nine points with three ribbons, you got to make sure all three of your paintings have all five colors in them. So you've got definitely got some future looking you have to do as far as which transparent cards you're going to pick up because each of them only has a couple of different symbols on them. Uh, the way the actual gameplay works is there's an offering of cards out there. There'll be five of them out there and you can choose one to take, but you can take the first one for free. If you want the second one, you have to put a little artist palette on the first one. So every one you skip, you have to put a palette on. If you don't have enough palettes, that's going to limit your choices. And of course, if you take a transparent art piece that has palettes on it, you're going to get those increasing your choices in future turns. So super simple because you're only making three paintings and players are limited to a hand size of five. So once once you have five of these transparent art pieces, you're going to have to make a painting on your turn. Because of that, the game plays in half an hour. Uh, I've played this, I mean, I've played this with uh, my five-year-old uh, because all, really all you need to do is choose which pictures you want. Maybe not great strategy, but to be able to make this art makes it such a family-friendly game. Uh, even people who don't necessarily like games have enjoyed this because, yeah, maybe they don't care as much about getting the points, but they care about making an awesome picture. And the discussion that you have with the pictures that you made, you know, all of our inner art critic comes up as we, as we talk deeply about this particular image that I made. I think this game is going to be around for a very, very long time. This is Canvas. It is brand new. I recommend you come pick it up. Uh, whether you're an established gamer that wants a nice, beautiful filler, or if you want something to, to bring out with non-gamers, or if you're looking for a gift for a non-gaming family member, I think Canvas, you cannot go wrong with it. That's why it's my pick of the week. I'm Kylie at Games Unlimited. Come on down, pick up a copy, and unbox some fun.